Hey everybody, we are here to show you something really neat and new from CPH. It's a new kit that we have, the uh, Jesse Tree Kit. And what's so cool about it, we're going to unbox it and we're going to put it together for you and help show it. But I want to just say this, I mean, Lindsay, it's obvious you're going to have a little child soon. Yes, very soon. And one of the coolest things about this, and one of the things you'll find when you have your kids and it's Christmas time, is just building these traditions oh, and yeah. doing different things for traditions. And I tell you, this is so neat because first of all, it comes in this great box. And when you open it up, this is the type of thing you'll be able to do with your kid and children every single year. Yeah. And they'll get to the point where they'll say, mom, let's put together the Jesse tree. And it's so neat. When you open up this box, and we both have one here, so we'll just kind of go through it. There are so many neat things in here. First, you open up, there's a daily devotion. And what I love about this daily devotion is they're short. They're, they're short for especially keeping the attention of your little kids. So as you're sitting around the table, you can read it, you can get them involved. It has a Bible reading, it has a short devotion, and it has a, a hymn in here. And that is so neat to do with your kids. You've got the children's book. Yes, it's so nice to have a sweet little children's book that is on a story of Jesus' birth from Matthew 1. And it is... Um, has great illustrations, great color, and it also has little um, pop-ups throughout that have um, correlation with the ornaments that you put on the tree that your kids will get to color themselves. So that's really fun too. So I love the illustrations that. in this. Yeah, it's beautiful. And, and talking about the ornaments. So the kit comes with these die cut uh, cardboard ornaments that are blank that again, you can color with them. And what's really neat about this, there are some ideas in the sheet that comes in here, just kind of talking about how to put the tree together and some other things. But they talk about things like you can decorate one ornament each day uh, after reading the devo devotion, or you can decorate them all at once. Or there's even an idea of getting your church together and having almost like a decoration party, yeah. you know, or uh, of uh, ornament swap where you're doing it. So like if, that. yeah, that is a neat idea. Yeah. So if you had maybe five or six couples, let's say, in your small group, or maybe a, a young married couples group or something. Get the ornaments and then swap the ornaments out. Yeah, that's fun. So, then it, it also comes, comes with, with string. Yeah, twine <laughs> that you can hang on yep. your tree. All right, so now we're gonna try to put this tree together. And that's one of the neat things too. So in the box, besides the devotion, besides the book to read to your kids at night, uh, the ornaments and such, there is a tree. Because you couldn't have the Jesse tree without a tree. Exactly. So, there's we are also, gonna... sorry to interrupt oh, you, no but problem. there's also um, all the ornaments on the back and um, everything that's included in the box on here, too. So, so you see the tree is all pre cut and pre uh, assembled. There are numbers at the bottom of each portion of the tree, so we'll get that together. I've got one and two. Yep. There's also the tree base and then a tree topper. So we'll show you how to put all that together as well. So I'm gonna start doing the base, get that together. So while Ken does that, the first step on here says to um, remove the four cutouts, which are these, mm -hmm. and to um, stack the cutouts one through three on top of each other. So these are all going to have this slit that lines up like this. So you lay them all on top of each other and then you put the number four through here Got and it kind of splits. So this is where you kind of need two people. So you do that. And so that gives you a nice firm base like that. Yep. So there's your tree. And then the next step, you might also need a second set of hands. <laughs> and this is a great way to get your kids involved too. Yes. So do this as a family and get them involved. Yep, so you'll, um, next is the base. So this one is, uh, okay. this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> so we put it. Wait, I got it. Yep. 
And I, I need to add one tree on this side. You need one more? No, I need to actually take this one out and do that. Here we go. There we go. I didn't read the instructions. Ken likes to fly by the seat <laughs> of his pants. All right, so there you go. So that is all done. So the only side we have left is this one. Take that. Okay. I'll hold these two out. You got those? Can... You got those? Okay. Just push this one up. Okay. So then, with all of those together, like that. There we go. And then I just put the tree topper on top to kind of just give it some additional dimension. And that is what's nice about this too. This becomes a three-dimensional uh, reminder of what is going on at Christmas time. And again, you can kind of kind of have to mess things. with it to make sure everything's stuck in there properly. We we'll give you two of these as well, so you can put those on there. And if you can see, each slit at the bottom of the tree gets one of the four bases, and then the in-between ones go in the corners. So it's nice to have, like we said, a second set of hands to kind of do that. But and they can be little it. hands too. They can be yeah, little or they big can be hands. Little baby hands. And then as you do your ornaments. They just pop out. There's a pre-cut hole already in there. You can string those up and put them right on the tree. Yep. So we're just excited to share this with you and we hope that you enjoy it. It's available at cph.org and it's called the Jesse Tree. So we hope this is the start of a new family tradition for you. You guys enjoy. Thanks for watching with us.